Designing your living space is a very individual task. You've opted for Parador vinyl flooring made of solid material. For easy installation, you need the right tools. We'll show you how it's done. Give yourself five minutes for this. Your new floor covering first has to adjust to the indoor climate. Store the unopened packages there for at least 48 hours at over 17 degrees Celsius. Prepare well for the installation and observe the enclosed product information. The subfloor must be dry, firm and even. Please remove loose PVC floor coverings or carpet. It is important to have the right underlay, which Parador also offers as a combined product. With this, you will compensate for slight uneven patches and ensure additional ambient and impact noise protection. If there are bigger uneven patches or tile joints, the floor must be filled. Lay the planks parallel to the incident of light and start at the light source if possible. Measure the width of the room and work out the first and last plank. The first row of planks will be adjusted for this. In this way, you will get an appealing design. For lengthways cuts, you can use a jigsaw as well as a manual or circular table saw. For shortening purposes, you can also score the decor side with a sharp knife and simply snap the plank off over an edge. The first planks are laid together. Then align the first row precisely with the wall. For this purpose, it's best to use our spacer wedges, with which you can also compensate for slight uneven parts of the wall. The last plank in the row is measured in each case and the measurement drawn on the whole plank. or you can turn the whole plank round and thereby transfer the right measurement. To shorten the plank, score it again and snap over an edge. Attention, bear in mind the expansion joint here too. Depending on the indoor temperature, your new flooring will expand or contract. An expansion joint of at least 5mm all the way round is therefore important. The cut-off piece is used directly again at the start of the next row. For long-lasting strength and an optically attractive overall appearance, the joints should be offset by at least 40cm. With the Parador installation aid, the planks are easily clicked together. Place underneath. Introduce end edge. Click long edge together and put down. Check whether all the joints are locked and work with a setting blow if need be. From the third row onwards, you have a stable base. Tip for continuing the installation process. For an harmonious overall appearance, mix the planks from several packs. The steps are repeated across the whole area and soon become routine. The last row of planks is measured again and adjusted accordingly. Bear in mind the expansion joint here too. Done. Radiator pipes running through the floor should firstly be transferred to the plank. Drill the holes 10 millimeters bigger and divide the plank exactly in the middle. Then put the individual parts in place. To finish, you can use pipe covering. Where necessary, simply shorten the door frames too. To achieve the right height, simply use a leftover piece as an underlay and a sharp saw. You can't lift the plank as usual here. 
push it in quite simply via the long side. An expansion joint is necessary in door transitions too. For covering purposes, fit appropriate profiles. To summarize briefly, plan two days for acclimatization. Select the right underlay. Prepare tools and aids. Work step by step according to the installation guide. You will also find matching skirting boards in the Parador range. It's very easy to fit them. Firstly, remove the spacer wedges. Use the enclosed drilling template to attach a clip every 40 to 50 centimeters and push the skirting board on from above. Perfect. So, everything's done. Your new vinyl flooring can be used immediately.